We need to do what uh, the founder of Uversion, Bobby uh, Gruenwald, says. He says, we are realign uh, around what God is doing. Have you ever thought about that? Realign around what God is doing. I like that. So may you realign your life in 2020 to remember God with clarity, right? Resolve to serve him in a bigger way. Remember what he has done, who he is, when he's promised and fulfilled it, and gain clarity and prayer of the word as you search your heart. I've got an exercise for you guys today. I'll just pass these around. These are sets of three pages. I think you'll find these, these very, uh, very interesting. This is a, a little retune and reset, or a little refresh, for your spiritual walk, for your family, for your, your career, everything. So we're a little pressed on time today as we have a meeting coming right up. So let's go through these really quick with, with it here. This, this is a five-step program. Five-step program. Let's go to step one as these are being passed around here. Step one is called fill up. So if you've got a pen, I want you to write that down. Fill up. What you're going to do is you're going to fill up with positive things. You're, going to, you're not going to look at what you haven't done this year and how, how you didn't get towards your goals. What you're going to look at is where you did go. Look back at all the pictures on your Facebook or other things. Look at the positive memories. Share those with your family and your spouse. Begin to look at how you begin to grow, how you begin to change, some things that have been uh, some steps forward for you, okay? That's called the fill up step. And uh, I, I definitely suggest do this about four times a year. Go through this, this five step. It'll help you. And that's a, that's a very positive assessment of where you've been. Now, then we're going to get a little bit realistic with it as well. We're going to do what's called step two, measuring the gap. We're, 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 uh, it's not as much of, of looking at what you didn't accomplish, but really listing what you accomplished. So I want you to go to page two, and page two is a wheel of life assessment. Within just a few seconds, I don't want you to spend a whole lot of time, I just want you to just put a number next to it. I want you to put a number next to each one of these items here of how you think on a, a scale of one to 10 that you did in that category in the last three months, okay? Just be realistic, and it doesn't have to be in balance, and it doesn't have to be perfect. There's seasons in our life where we're more invested in one category or another. The problem comes is when you leave one category completely neglected forever, then you have a big problem, all right? So what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be realistic look, look, looking at that. Put a number next to it, one through 10, next to each one of those. Well, it takes a couple seconds. Did everybody put a number? The categories here are family, faith, fun, health, vocation, and finance. Put vocation and finance side by side. You could put those as two categories, but we'll put them side by side. Then, here's what I want you to do. You've got the number next to each category, right? What you want to do, and you'll, this will probably take some time at home, is just take a word or two of, and begin to list each of the items that you did in each category along that line. And you'll find that some of these have all sorts of stuff underneath them. Like, the, like I have this, this chart here, and. And, and there's some areas where I have hardly anything and, and, and others where I have a whole lot, right? Actually, I didn't complete mine, but uh, I begin to see where the deficit lies and where the strengths were and, I, and to try to kind of refocus, rebalance, right? Here's the problem is if, if on the faith line, you find you're having a hard time putting anything, you may need that retune now. It might be the time to, to rebalance that life, okay? All right, the third one here is dream again. Third category is dream again. And you know, we, we, we just kind of run into to a, a rut of going to work every day, just kind of running through life every day because we've just done it so long. Step three, I want you to dream without limits. Just dream without limits. Just 
just imagine if you could just without limits what 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 you dream and then and, and write that there it, it's like a total brainstorming dump on the page right and some of it later you'll go that's it that's ridiculous you know dancing with unicorns i'll never do that um you know <laughs> it's okay it's okay if you like doing that i want you to put it down all right so dream again we, we all need to dream again right now god wants us to dream big he has plans to prosper us give us a future he doesn't have limits we shouldn't either all right so step four i want you to create the habit set the goal so let's take a look at uh let's take take a look at uh at what that means to to uh create the habit habits are like um uh, they're, they're like a, 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 you're like setting the goal, but you're not at the goal yet. So like you say, I, I want to be a runner. So I'm going to train. I'm going to get a pair of good shoes. I'm going to get a nice tank top. You know, I'm going to get a pair of shorts. Uh, you know, you, you start preparing for all this stuff and you start training. I'm going to train two days a week, three days a week, whatever it may be. Right. And you say, okay, I'm going to become a runner. So that you, you're creating a habit. Right. And then the goal, you have to put a goal as a destination. So the destination is I want to win that 5K. I did that at age 45. I said, I want to win a 5K. I'm not a runner, uh, and I'm not. I, I race on the sea all the time. I'm not a runner, but I'm going to win a 5K. I'm 45 years old. I want to do it. So, so at, at 45, 46, I, I, I ran that, that, that race, and I won a 5K. Uh, and, but I, I was very meticulous in laying out my plan and, and, and setting that goal. And, and that was my goal, and I won. So that was pretty cool. And so it's proof you could do it, because if I, if I can win a 5K and I'm not a runner, then, then uh, that's pretty good, right? All right, so, so let's go to the last page. The last page is called War Plan, and that's number, step number five. War Plan, it's, it basically uh, allows you to be able to set markers to where I'm going to stop doing this, I'm going to start doing that, and to rebalance your life. And so with each of these, if you look at that last page here, there's the habit Go to the one I gave you because I made it just slightly different. Uh, the on the last page there's a habit and then there's an anchor. That's the reason why you wanna wanna do it. Like you say, I want to become a runner so I can lose weight. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna start this uh, this Friday, right? And frequency I'm gonna do it three days a week, right? And so my next step is getting a pair of shoes brand new pair of shoes so I can do it well, right? All right, and then my goal, there you go, 5K. So you can see what that, that, how, how to set that out. And if you put it on paper, you're more likely to do it, especially if you put that paper somewhere where you see it all the time. You're more likely to get to that goal, all right? Because a lot of us make resolutions and we drop them very, very quickly. It takes about 63 days to, to make a habit to where it becomes uh, a second nature kind of behavior. A lot of times I've heard, you know, 20, 30 days, where it's like 63 days, according to Dr. Serrano, a friend of mine. And, uh, and so that's a long time. You have to be at it. Uh, you have to, to get the discipline and persistence to make it a, a regular habit to hit that goal. So I hope that, um, I hope that uh, you guys can apply this to your spiritual walk, to, to your financial, to your family time, to every aspect of your life, know that they don't all have to be in balance all the time, but you want to bring them back to balance every so often so that uh, you, don't, uh, you don't have a deficit in any category. All right, I hope this is helpful as we refocus, re-clarify, uh, and uh, get a solid resolve, solid clarity in 2020. Thank you. Let's pray real quick. God, we, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the ability to study your word. We thank you that, that for all that have come here today that, that uh, have, have just really come here to seek after uh, a way of, of, of worshiping you better, of, of living better as we, we seek to glorify your name, as we seek holiness in our lives. Lord, help us to see through the fog. Help our eyes to focus, to focus on you as we start with perfect 2020 vision in 2020. Amen. 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 Thank you, Steve. Uh, a couple things. Make sure if you received uh, uh, those three pages that you take them with you. And you can have the pen if, that you grabbed from me. I have plenty of those. Take it home with you. Or if you want to leave them, leave them on, uh, either over here on the way out or on top of the little fireplace area. And uh, one other thing, because some of, some of us have to go over uh, to the meeting, the congregational meeting. 
Next Sunday, uh, when I preach again, uh, on uh, we're going to go back to the church of Thyatira and finish some things here in Re Revelation. But uh, when it comes to the Sunday school time, I want you to be thinking about one question. Here's the question. Do good people end up in heaven? Do good people go to heaven? So that's the question. And we'll be talking. The Bible is very clear about that question. So uh, think about that question. Do they have a good person? Uh, I have some friends that are good people. Will they be in heaven? So think about that question for next week, okay? So uh, let, let's all stand, and uh, we're going to ask some of you to sit, to be able to put the tables up. You're invited for lunch, and the rest of us that are our members need to go over now to the meeting. So thank you, and God bless you today. Have a great day.